Hi, I'm Paul Perdue, and I am the infrastructure nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd, and I'm a legal technologist. And we have waited and waited and waited, and finally the day has arrived, and World Docs GX4 is here. And it is faster, easier, and prettier. The profiles are created almost instantly. Uh, the emails seem to just jump right into World Docs. Can you show us how it all works? I sure can. Okay, so here we are. Don't even have World Docs open yet, but the first feature that I want to show you is the new one-click save. Let's say that you are in the middle of typing a, a document for a brand new client. Maybe they're not even in World Docs yet to profile the document to. Maybe it's just a, a long document and uh, you're, you're, you haven't figured out where it's getting profiled or your attorney hasn't told you where it's getting profiled, but you need to save it because you don't want to lose it. Well, with this new one-click save feature, which they call a World Docs Quick Save, you can do just that. If you take this button and click it, you will see World Docs flash, and you're done. You have saved the document to World Docs. It is now being included in full text searching. You can get back to it very easily simply by listing your Quick Save documents, uh, and you can go on with the peace of mind that your document has been saved, even into World Docs, and you can profile it later. And when the matter gets added to the World Docs uh, table, when your attorney tells you what to call it and where to put it, whatever the case may be, you've saved it, you can profile it later. Very cool. Uh, filtering emails. Um, it's always known what to do with emails once you create your first profile. But you had to kind of create those profiles, and you had the situation where it didn't know what to do with an email that you receive or send to somebody that you communicate with about a whole bunch of different things. That's gotten a lot smarter. So I'm going to take an example. I'm going to take this email from the skim, and I'm going to profile it to World Docs, which means I'm simply going to, in my instance, move it into World Docs. And you'll notice, this is a new profile screen, we'll get into this in a second, very cool. You'll notice that it really doesn't know much what to do with it, so I'm going to say, well, we're going to put this in a certain client file, and uh, we're going to choose uh, the WSC Corp, and we're going to choose this particular matter, and I'm going to say that it's an email, and I'm going to save it as the guy I'm logged in as, Walter Ox. Bam, bam, ready to go, done, and it's done. Now, if I find another email that's from the same sender, let's see if we can find another skim. I get these every day. Let's see if we can do it this way. There we go. There's another skim. Move it into World Docs. Bam. It already knows. Very cool. Very automatic. Very smart. Like I said, Let's say you're writing to John Q. Attorney, but you've got three cases that you're currently working on where he's on the other side. Well, one's going to be hotter than the others at any given point in time, and World Docs constantly monitors where you're profiling it at that time. So it knows who you might want to profile it to, and when you profile it to the different matter than you've been doing for the last two weeks, it remembers that and continues to default to that until you change it to something different. A lot smarter than it used to be about how it profiles these emails and how it saves you as many strokes as possible in um, allowing you to, to, to quickly get those emails into World Docs. Okay, another thing. Let's go in and look at World Docs. This is the new World Docs GX4 right here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And I'm going to open up one of my favorite matters. Bam. That's the new World Docs screen right there. And that's great. I mean, this, this file list is very simple now, very streamlined. And what you get is... Uh, something that you have a lot of control over how it looks, much more so than you did before. But they have this new executive view, they like to call it, that takes things and groups them still, but groups them into two columns of boxes so that somebody who doesn't want to see quite as much information can see things more on the screen at the same time. They call it the executive view because it allows you to... Um, Get more information in one screen without having to scroll through a list. Go back to the list view. It's just a matter of clicking that list view to switch between the list view and the tile view. Another thing that's very cool in GX4 
keep in mind, I'm, I'm trying to get you as much of the basic functionality as possible. We will expand upon these things in future Paul and Mary Jo shows and future World Docs virtual user group meetings. Uh, Mary Jo will cover more things in future eBytes. But right now we're trying to get you a bird's eye, top level view of the new features. So one that's very cool is this ability to search from directly in Word. And not just search for a certain document number or a certain word in a document title or in the comments, but to search a document. So if I type agreements, and click on this button here, it goes out to World Docs and finds instances of the word agreement in full text search. So right from in, within Word, I can click on my World Docs tab, type a search phrase here, search for the, the word and, 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 and click this button and it takes me instantly to World Docs where it will um, go ahead and um, pr produce that list for me. Now I'm gonna kinda jump ahead because I want to show you what it does when it finds text in a, word, in, a, in a document. The old thing used to just take you to a list of documents and you kind of had to piecemeal work your way through and, and find out where it found the word. The New World Docs GX4 shows you directly within the list item how many instances of the word agreement it found, which instant it's currently showing you context for, and lets you right here from the list scan through the context for all the occurrences of that word in that document. And then you can jump down to this document, and then you can jump down to this document. Even cooler is that when you go over to this view, you then have, for whatever document you're highlighting, you have the ability to see all the occurrences of the word agreement and to scan through them using these buttons up here. Now, while I'm on this subject, I can't tell you how much I love this new preview mode where it's on the side here instead of the way it used to be on the bottom. I, I hated the old preview. Uh, you really had to slide your, your divider up very far to see any of the document. If, for instance, you were looking at emails, let's get some emails on the screen real quick. Um, let me see if I can find some that are actually put in here for this matter. You now can simply move through, and I'm using the arrow keys on my keypad, move through these emails and very quickly see the whole thing. You don't, you don't have to um, scroll with this thing. You don't have to see just the header. In the old one, when it was at the bottom, all you could see was from, sent, received, to. Well, that doesn't do me any good. I want to see some context of the email. Now I can see it love having the view be over here. Can't say that enough. Let me see what else do I want to show you. Multiple, oh, okay. First off, um, the way that you profile documents is, is redesigned so that everything's on the same screen. So I'm going to take this document right here and I'm going to choose Edit Profile. And this is the new profile. You can select what they call cabinets now, they used to call them profile groups. You can select your cabinet right here without having to jump to a different screen. You can come in here and instead of having to know the number to type, you can type WSC and it will find WSC Corp. You don't have to click the button anymore to find WSC Corp. You can just start typing in here. There is no button to take you to the list. The list is already here. You still have your drop down of your most recently used, and you can browse the table this way. But you don't really need to anymore because I can just type WSC and bam, there they are. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've learned the keystrokes to go into this list and type Purdue or Lewis or whatever client I want to profile something to. Now I can just do it right from here. Um, categories. If you're using categories, you know that they don't really show up on this screen. Um, categories now do. They're right here. They're ready to go for you. They're all accessible right from the profile screen without having to jump to a different screen to see them. And you can even um, add and edit categories from this profile screen if you have the rights to do that. So you can remove, you can select, 
you can add and edit categories all from the profile screen. No more, uh, no more need to, to jump around to select a cabinet, to jump around to select a client, to jump around to select categories. And if these are the defaults for every document that you want to you know, profile from now on, just click Save Defaults. You don't have to go someplace special to create your default document profile. You can do it all from right here. Let's see, what else do I want to talk to you about? I, um, my next thing to show you is the inline search, but I already showed you that. If I uh, type again, agreement, this is inline search, uh, which means it shows you from within the list all the occurrences, lets you through there, and then of course there's the preview-based view as well. Um, ah, directly from Outlook, this is cool too. In the past, we've always had this World Docs area down here, and you could set up these folders for your favorite matters. Now they get set up automatically. So if you want to take a bunch of these emails and drag them over here and instantly have them profiled to the uh, 50 matter for client seven, bam. Why is that there now? Because they're a favorite. Why are they a favorite? Because I used them in the last 30 days. So favorites are no longer a mythical, mysterious thing that you don't know how they become favorites and you don't know how they unbecome favorites. It's now very structured. It's very dynamic. As you use World Docs, your favorites adjust automatically. You can mark something a favorite right away. You can take this document and make it a favorite just by clicking the heart. When you're looking at a matter, you can click the heart next to it and make it a favorite and it'll stay a favorite just like this document will no matter how you know, far in the future, World Docs has to wait for you to use the document again. It doesn't matter. Once you make it a, a defined favorite, it's going to stick to being a favorite until you tell it you don't want it to be a favorite anymore. But what I was headed over here to tell you was, A, that these are created automatically for you, and B, that if you click on the World Docs, you get to run World Docs right from within Outlook, the entire copy of World Docs exactly the way it appears on this screen. So I can now go to my favorite matters. I can, uh, I can do anything. Anything I can do in World Docs, I'm in World Docs. This is my World Docs screen. It just happens to be showing up from within Outlook. So I can see every single thing that I wanna see in World Docs right there. And the last thing is that these favorites are Follow me favorites. That's a trademarked term. My brother is a patent attorney, so I have to say that. That's a registered trademark. Follow me favorites means that if you have World Docs Web, if you uh, access it from the iPad app, uh, if you access World Docs from a different computer, uh, if you are in Outlook, wherever you are, these favorites are going to follow you. So all the things that you set up, all the favorites that you have, all the um, quick profiling tools that you set up specific to you now follow you no matter where you are. So you don't have to worry about a different interface when you're in the World Docs web browser version versus the iPad app versus the, the, uh, the desktop on another person's desktop because your, your computer is broken right now and you're working in a different place. All these things now follow you in what they call follow me favorites. So that's a kind of a nutshell view. Uh, in a nutshell view, a bird's eye view, uh, as I said, more, more later. And that's it, World Docs GX4 in a nutshell. And that's just one more way that we can help you worry less and practice more.